let's go over what the uh, the program is all about. These are retracements, retracement arrows. We've had a lot of possible entries here this morning. Here's a WPT down here also. So the yellow is the ATR. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to take trades inside of a running ATR. Because the ATR, if it's setting higher lows or lower highs, we're looking for a vertical movement to the upside or downside. So this morning, every since just after 5.30, really, the market started moving, is that we've had several setups to the upside. And we've only been looking to buy. We're not looking to sell this morning. So we've had a WPT, and we had a lot of retracements. So the ATR is the yellow dot. Hey, David. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Uh, here's your yellow dots. Your yellow dots, that's the ATR. So anything inside of this running ATR, you're going to look for a possible retracement trade or what's called a wrongly positioned trader trade. So the retracement trades are different than the WPTs because the WPTs, what they look for is they look for setups right on the ATR. It's a deeper retracement. So we're looking for deep retracements right on the ATR when the color of the speed bar is an opposite color trend. So what does that mean? Is it mean if you are inside of a yellow ATR and we're going up, so we're moving up, what that means is that we are looking for opposite color bars, our speed bars to come in. That's an opposite color bar, speed bar. It's an opposite color bar to look for possible bottoms or tops. These are very, very, very low risk, high probability trades and high reward to risk trades because you're catching the trade right on top of the ATR. Okay, your retracement trades. The best ones are right on the ATR, like this one this morning, right around, what, 640 was a really good one. That W bottom right on the ATR after the WPT. What I'm finding is, what I like to see is when it first starts, when you really start moving, you'll get your WPT, and that first retracement trade typically is a nice big retracement trade. I will have a filter on the strategy to look for this setup particular setup by itself, it will ignore these setups, but it will look for this particular setup, the first retracement after a WPT, after the ATR first starts printing. I'm finding those to be very rewarding, especially if you're setting higher lows and lower highs. The one thing I want you to notice is that with WPTs, when you get the opposite color speed bar, is that look how they're resting right on top of the ATR. Now the strategy, in the room I show a 23 ATR, and the strategy I run a 25, I'll show you in a second. But you can, you can adjust this as tight as you want, as loose as you want on the ATR. Um, I'm finding the WPTs are deeper retracements. So we want to run a 23 to, let's say, 25 ATR um, if you want to catch these, um, you know, ret deep retracements. Now, on your regular retracements, your add-on retracements, you can put additional retracements on the indicator because this is an indicator-based and a strategy-based. So you can run this ATR with these retracements and the WPTs all by itself without even running a strategy. Okay, so they, this, this ATR will plot automatically. These retracements will plot automatically, and the WPT will plot automatically. If you want to run the strategy, on this up move. So here's a strategy this morning. So we want to run the strategy. We started running here this morning around right around 509. And I use a 25 on this one. The 25 actually caught three WPTs. Uh, 20, I showed 23 in the room. But strategy, I let it give a little bit more wiggle room. But there's your one WPT caught the low. There's your second WPT caught the low. And here's your third WPT caught the low. This one never qualified, never got a pull-in bar. 
And then it's caught this nice little up move, first target off. It has a runner still running. So you can run the strategy like this, or you can run the ATL. I mean, you can run the, um, or you can run the indicator by itself. Now, what you can do, if you see, um, a lot of you probably will do this. If you see the market is running hard like this after WPT, if you see the markets go vertical, notice the ATR how it's setting higher lows. But notice how when we go vertical here, look at that ATR going vertical. That's a hard market. That's the best time to really turn on the retracement trades because you're really going vertical. And those retracement trades are really dynamic in a vertical market. Okay, so your WPTs, they work pretty much in a, you know, not sideways market, but a small trending market to large trending market. They're best in a hard trending market, of course. But your retracement trades are really good when you got an angle in the, um, on the, uh, on the ATR. I do have a filter for that strategy in the strategy. Another filter I have also is the angle uh, the, the higher, how many higher loads you have or pretty much the angle of the ATR. So if the ATR is flat, meaning it's only, it's going dots just sideways. Let's say we're going sideways like this. It won't take any trades. In fact, if the ATR goes like this and prints just one higher low, then it still won't take trades. But then I have a filter saying, hey, if I'm stair-stepping up like this, now it's going to start taking trades. So you can use that filter on the strategy to take out trades or add trades as much as you want, depending on how steep the ATR is running. Like this morning's ATR, I mean, don't you wish every day the market would go vertical like this? I mean, it's just it is this really nice uh, trading for us because our setups are so dynamic in vertical markets because the WPTs will catch a low, with a very small risk on the ATR. So we have very, very small stops just taking the WPTs. Um, and then you, we, got, uh, we got the retracement trades that work out well because the market's gone vertical. So now you can take those off. Let's say that you want to go strategy, and let's say that I want to take off the, so I'll take this off. Let's say you just want to trade one, one of them and not both of them. Let's say I just want to take the WPTs. I can take the add-on trades off on a strategy, and then I can turn it back on. And now it's only going to look for WPT trades. So you can run them separately, or you can run them together. It doesn't matter. Or you can run them independently of each other or together. But now, as you see, now it will take the WPT. Um, it will take the first WPT trade, and then it will hold it all the way through. What I do need to add is I need to, what I'm going to add this week, it will take every additional, every WPT, not just the original one. It only took the original one this morning and held it all the way up from 42.73 to, what, uh, 43.10. So it had a huge move this morning on the WPT with very small risk. It had very tight stop, and we got over, what, a 33-point S&P play on that uh, just that trade, but let's say you want to run just the, let's say the other way, you want to run just the, uh, you don't want to run the WPT. Let's say that you want tighter stops on a retracement trade. Um, Phil had a great uh, email, which he's correct. You can run these together or separate. If you want tighter stops on the retracement trades, you can run a tighter ATR so you don't get stopped out as much, so you don't get a wide ATR where you need a wide ATR on the WPT. So you can run them on two separate charts if you want. Uh, if you run them on one chart if you want, if you are, want a little larger stop. But this is without the WPTs, and these are just retracement trades. Um, you can do the retracement trades by themselves. Uh, also, uh, you're good to go. The other thing you can do is, depending on your account size, uh, you see how the additional setups it takes to trade, a trade, a trade, a trade, a trade, a trade. You can limit the number of contracts that you want to possibly be long or short in the account by looking at max trades. So what I can do is max trades here is 10. At any given time, the strategy will not take more than the max trades. So if I put four on contracts, then it's not if I have a smaller account and I don't want to trade 10 contracts and I want to trade max four contracts at any given point in time, then you can specify max number of trades, and then what it'll do at any given time, depending where it sheds contracts, 
it will not get it will not go long or short more than four contracts at any given time. So you can go as much as you want up to 20, 30 con it doesn't matter how many contracts you do, but your max trades right there will um, that will let you know uh, what your maximum trades are going to be in there. I put the second target is way out there. Uh, you can put your stop at uh, 15, 20. You can, t you can tighten it up, 15, target 1, 15, target 2, 15. You can tighten it up down to, if you're using a tight ATR, tighten all the way down to 9 tick stop. If you're using a tighter ATR and retracements. Uh, but let's say you just use a 15 tick stop. You know, it's, it's one or the other. Whatever comes first. Is, are, you, are, do you close outside the ATR and then it gets you out of the stop loss? Or does it get your stop loss first? It's the better of the, I mean, it's it's in your favor, whatever is in your favor. In other words, if, it, if I close outside the ATR and I go long on the WPT down here, if I go long the WPT and it closes outside the ATR, it's going to close you out if you haven't hit 15 ticks yet, which typically happens on, you can have real tight stops on the WPTs. So if you trade a WPT and use, let's say, a 23 ATR, it's pretty much right on the ATR when it goes long. I mean, it's right over top of it. So you don't need a larger stop. Um, if you use a wider ATR and you widen this thing out, then you want a larger stop. Okay. If you use retracement trades, let's say these longs that where it got its first target, um, if you go long on these targets, uh, you want a tighter ATR. You can tighten this thing up. So we had no WPTs because the deeper retracement. You can tighten it up to follow price, okay? You can follow up to, to follow price if you want. But that's what we try to do. We're trying to um, we're trying to get into uh, these setups inside of a running ATR. The best setups you're going to find. I love the WPT trades. That's my favorite trade in the trade room right now. Opposite color bar right on the ATR because it really, if you know what you're doing, you can actually trade this in chop also. Um, if it goes to high value or low value area and we're flat moving averages and we're not trending, now if I see a WPT, um, you can limit order it right at the high on the HVA LVA with a small stop or you can wait for a pull-in bar, still a small stop to go from the from one, one side to the other side. You know, so those are my favorite, that's my favorite setup uh, is the WPT, or the WPTs. I love these trade setups. Okay, right on the um, right on support of resistance but you know use the ATR to judge your your angle like right here you wouldn't take an ATR against trend you see this is a non factor that ATR really means nothing because the trends up if you look at the trend this morning I mean we're just hard angled up we are up we're huge angle up this morning we're above HVA we've been above HVA since what gosh right there we started cranking above a just after seven o'clock. We've been above high value area, and so you know you got to understand that when you're outside HVA, the market likes to go vertical. Great time to look for retracement trades. So if you see this outside HVA and you want to turn the strategy on, that's very ideal. Or if you blow LVA, turn the strategy on when you are outside of it also. But those are the two main setups you look for.